¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué pasó? What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from the 305, my hometown. Today my father and I are going to be exploring what Cuban street food is all about here in Miami. We're at Casa Cuba, which is a local favorite of ours, I mean it's in our neighborhood, South Miami. And today what we're going to see is how they make pastelitos, croquetas, empanadas, papas rellenas, churros, and Cuban coffee. If you've ever been to a Cuban restaurant in Miami, you know that they have a window, which is called La Ventanita, and that's where you go and have your coffee, have your croqueta, empanada. Are you Whatever ready? you like, I'm ready. All right, let's I'm go ready. inside. Let's go. Jose, uh -huh. ¿qué, se, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Vamos a la parte de atrás de la cocina a ver eh, qué te podemos ofrecer de Casa Cuba. So we're going to the back to the kitchen to see what they're making here. I really want to see how they make you know, the stuff we're gonna eat, all the fried stuff, all the good stuff. Croquetas, empanadas, pastelitos. This is called Tortilla Madrid, which is basically like a Cuban omelet with lots of different things. I think he put, what do you put, chorizo? You put manchego, you put uh, peppers, eggs, and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big, big omelet. Awesome. Here he's making pastelitos, which are basically Cuban puff pastries. You can have it savory, or sweet. Sweet is like guayaba, guayaba and cheese. Savory is like ham and cheese, ground beef. I mean, here we have an assortment, so we're getting like four different ones. I mean, he's making a lot here. <laughs> it's gonna be good though, I can't wait. This with a Cuban coffee, perfect. So here he's putting sugar on top of the ones that are cheese. And that's just guayaba and cheese or just cheese? Yep. Just cheese. <laughs> the reason he put a little hole in it is so that the vapor comes out and then it puffs up. So then he tops off every single pastelito with a little bit of egg yolk. And what's the reasoning for that? Color. Color? That's Color. It? Color and shine. Okay, awesome. He go to the oven at 325 degrees for 25 minutes. I want to fry the croquetas 400 degrees. So if you guys don't know, croquetas are cigar fritters. Basically, it's like mushed up ground ham and cheese. Sometimes they have pollo, so a chicken. Yeah. And then you also have jamón serrano. Jamón serrano So too. serrano ham from Spain. That is the masa, the dough for the jamón serrano croquettes. I make uh, this morning. Show me, what do we have yeah. here? So I got the bread over here. I got the stuff on the, on the line, just working. He making the picadillo. I got the paletas over here. Octopus, oh, wow. salmon. I'm in the freezer right now, dude. <laughs> that is the veggie cooler. I got all the products. So this is a walk-in cooler, all vegetables here. Cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, beans, everything. So this is for the sandwich station. Sandwich. So right here they're making Cuban sandwiches. We have ham, cheese, pork, what? pork, turkey. Over here he made the tostadas, the Cuban toast. So a tostada is what you always have with your coffee, usually, you know? So you got butter, it's a four, like a, what, two feet? At least two feet, the, yeah, the, bread, the bread, and they cut it in four. Yeah. The same thing with the Cuban uh, sandwich. We're gonna try a bit of everything, so we have to try some croquetas of jamón serrano. It's their invention, I've never had it before. You can't even get it in the window, you have to go sit inside and order it. So right here we have La Ventanita, here's where you come, have a quick coffee on the go. There's four different styles, regular like a Cuban coffee, so Café Cubano, just one shot, espresso. You have Colada, which is like two or three shots. Then you have Café Con Leche is like 70% milk, 30% coffee, and then it's the opposite for Cortadito, it's like 70% coffee, 30% uh, milk. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have basically a little bit of everything, but we're starting off with the coffees first. So we have four different coffees here. We right have the colada, colada. So this is like two to three coffees, three espressos. Here we have regular cafecito, so just like an espresso shot. Here we have cafe con leche, which is like 70% milk, 30% coffee. And over here we have uh, cortadito. So this is like 70% coffee, 30% milk. So it's like the opposite, right? That one's a lot of milk. So that's like more light. This is very nice, but if you want to go strong, you go regular coffee. If you want to go super strong, you get the colada. So what are you starting with, Dad? 
What do you have? Uh, most likely with my my cafecito. So cafecito, okay. So cafecito. Let's try it. I mean, to be honest, guys, I drink this every single day. <laughs> I drink like three of these a day. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't know about Cuban coffee, the way they brew it is different, or the way they you know put it together. So what they do is they start off with sugar, then they brew the coffee into the sugar and they mix at the same time. Right. So that's the difference, right? That's the biggest difference. It is different. All right, so for colada, it comes with these little cups, right? So you're supposed to share it. One for you, one for me. Open it up. Oh, look at this. It's amazing. You can smell the delicious aroma coming out of it. And then you pour. You know, it, it, it's weird because it feels stronger than the espresso. It's the same thing. But it feels stronger. It feels stronger. This can wake up anybody. Yeah. I mean, I, what I usually do is because I, I'll have two regular cafecitos. So instead of just doing that, I just get the colada straight and just drink the whole thing. I do like two of these a day lately. <laughs> it's not good. And then what, that's when you start calling me like 10 times, right? Yeah, yeah. You like, get all wired. Get jittery, get jittery. And then the last thing we have to try is this big boy. So this is the Cafe Con Leche. Look at that. Wow. Huge. Mm. I really enjoy this because it's very light. My mom drinks one of these like at six or seven at night. She's fine. She goes to sleep. Easy. It's like a meal. <laughs> for some, no seriously, for some people, especially for ladies, the ladies mm -hmm. tend to drink one of these like at 6, 7 p.m. Exactly. And it's like their dinner almost. It's like, and them up. they do it with this. So oh, they get the yes. bread. You can see the butter, lots of butter. So you do is you fold it, so then you just dip like that, right? Like that. So you soak it up, you take a bite. <laughs> they overdo it with the butter. <laughs> Too much butter, huh? Mm. But it's, it's the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's the way it is. So it absorbs the coffee. Mm. I love it because you're getting a lot of coffee at the same time. You're getting the crunch, the bread, the butter. I'm hungry. I can't resist this. Come on, come on. Which side? This side, that side? I bet this side. So you go to the other side. Coronavirus on this side? Bobby, <laughs> Bobby. So now that we've tried all the different coffees, let's go on to croquetas. Okay, so right here we have four of the regular croquetas, which are just ham. So it's grounded ham, right? And then over here we have jamón serrano. Now I think the jamón serranos, I mean, they look just incredible. That's right. They're more delicate, they're softer, they're smaller. What do you want, so you want to start? Let's try with this. Jamón serrano. Perfect. Salud. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Super delicate. Mm -hmm. Mushy filling. Mm. So different, right? Completely different. It almost tastes like bechamel, but it's not bechamel. Yeah, but they're, they're, well, it could be bechamel. Is it? Oh. So if you've ever eaten croqueta in Spain, they usually have bechamel. So I think they did put bechamel on this one because it's more yeah. of a Spanish, you know, croqueta. It's like so. Mm. Mm. Wow. Serious stuff. Yeah, it's a little flaky. The dense on the outside, super, super mushy on the inside, like pudding almost. It's like a pudding. Like a pudding, like a pudding. So we'll try these now. You want to put uh, lemon on it or no? No, I go just straight. Straight? Let me see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are originals, so it's like bread crumbs, right? Mm -hmm. I fried it. Again, the, the difference between those two is that one was jamón serrano ham. So from Spain, this is just regular ham, grounded. And that one had bechamel, this one doesn't. You can see in the inside. I'll, I'll go with the Serrano one every day though. Mm, that one for sure. And this is a Cuban staple, pastelitos. We have four different varieties. So we have guava, right? So guayaba, so that's sweet. This one has cheese. This one has uh, ground beef. Correct. And then over here we have guava and cheese. So we have more sweet than savory, but it's all good. I love this. They're all baked Cuban puffed pastries what do you want to try i'll go um i guess i'll start with the uh, with the beef okay Let's i'm gonna go with, with the this beef. one okay okay that's so. all you ready ready mm. it's amazing so you have lots of layers mm, very crumbly 
the inside of mine, because it's why I have them. Super sweet. It's a little hot, so it like oozes out. This is the best. You For like me, it's the best, yeah. yeah. Yours, how was that? It's excellent. I mean, I love I love the beef. And you know, it's uh, it's interesting because the pastry, mm. it's a bit sweet, mm. and the beef is a bit salty. And I love everything that's sweet and salty. I don't know if you like that. Yeah, yeah. And sweet that, and salty is always good. And that pairs well with the coffee, too. And another thing that's really cool that I didn't know is that they put egg yolk on top to make this goldish color. Oh, man. I would eat it all, but we have so much to try here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try this one, just cheese. I love it though. And they also put sugar on top, and it's like a, I guess like another like long cylinder shape, right? You wanna try this one? Yeah, I wanna try this. So that's this is a guava and cheese. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's like cream cheese, right? Yeah. It is cream cheese. Mm. Yeah, the, the thickness of the cream cheese. Look at this. Mm. I'm gonna say between the guava and the cheese, I mean, I don't know which one I like better, but you said guava and cheese. Guava and cheese. Right? Exactly, look at that. Just goes out. Mm. You should give a bite to the one before. Give it a bite. Give it a bite? A bite. Give it a bite. You like it. Mm -hmm. See the sweet and the and the, and the salty? Mm -hmm. It's a, like a very like thin layer of beef. So you have all these layers of dough, then a layer of beef, and it really feels weird with the outside of it. Super crunchy. The, the bottom is super tough. Like it's uh, not tough, it's, it's hard, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Best thing to do is just fold it's it It's got some consistency. Next up, we have the tortilla madrileña, which is basically, um, you know, an omelet with chorizo, a bunch of other stuff. We also have queso right manchego. Here, queso manchego, manchego yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And they also have here some potatoes. Let's try it. Mmm. Tasty. Mm. Oh, it's good. A lot of manchego. Very tasty. Nice thick cheese. What about mm. the, the potatoes? Potatoes? Mm -hmm. Nice chicken potatoes. I mean, like really tasty. I think this is an awesome omelet. I haven't had it like this before. And look, the amount of chorizo they put in here. Look at this. Just layers upon layers. So you can come here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have outside seating, indoor seating, and then they have the window. Unfortunately, we didn't do the window today because it's just a little complicated with all this food, too many things, and you're standing the whole time, right? Mm. Look at this. The chorizo, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love chorizo. I can't stop now. <laughs> It feels like the rest of it was appetizers. Mm -hmm. Now this is the real, the real deal. Mm. Mm, very good. Never, never had this before. I always have the regular coffee, but this is amazing. The cinnamon. Next up, we have empanadas. If you guys don't know what empanadas are, they're basically like dough that has been folded with ingredients inside. You can find this all around the world, all Latin America. It originated in Spain, but it also resembles like a samosa, very similar yeah. to samosa in India. I mean, it's amazing. This one's a pollo, so chicken, but you can get it with uh, ground beef, you can get it with corn, you can get it with like a variety of different things, ham and cheese. Wanna try it? Let's try it. It almost resembles like pulled chicken, right? Mm -hmm. mm. It's crumbly. It's different, very different from the pastelitos. In the sense that this is like a, it's not as flaky, right? Just like right. a layer of dough, and then the inside is the filling. Exactly, and every single country in Latin America has their own variety. So Argentina, they have it. Colombia, Colombia Venezuela. They have it. Exactly. Mm. Really filling. What is this called, Dad? This is a, uh, I don't know, what is it called? Papa rellena. Papa rellena. Papa rellena. So what you do is you cut it in half. Then, as you can see, it's mushy and it's also like some ground beef in it. So that mushiness is obviously potatoes. And then it's fried on the outside with breadcrumbs. Great. I mean, for this one, you can eat it with your hand if you want. I mean, yeah, I think with the hands. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's better. 
Basically, mashed potatoes. That's right. That's it. With some ground beef. The mashed potato ground beef. And somehow it's with, I think, the breadcrumbs. And mm -hmm. they fry it. They deep fry it. I mean, it's good. But it's a bomb. It's very filling. It's it's a bomb. Very, I mean, if you're hungry, <laughs> you eat one of these, you're done. That's it. This with coffee. Everything with coffee. In Cuban culture, that's how it is. Okay, so next up is the grand finale, dessert. What do we have? I'm stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> this is arroz con leche. Okay. Traditional dessert from Spain, originally. And they put cinnamon on top. Oh, cinnamon on top. It yeah. looks incredible. I love this. So it's basically rice with milk. That's it. Oh, look at that. It's so sticky. Mm. Oh man, with the cinnamon on top. Grand finale. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Terrific. So it's like almost like a. It's not watered down. It's more just sticky, condensed, right? Mm -hmm. Almost like condensed milk Correct. with rice. But it's not condensed milk, just regular milk. Oh, this is incredible. I mean, it's super sweet. And this is what they have in Cuba, obviously, because it's so hot that they need to have something like this that will refresh them. Mm -hmm. Heavenly. Okay guys, we are stuffed. We tried everything. I mean, just like infinite amount of Cuban delicious things. We tried pastelitos, croquetas, empanadas, papa rellena, coffees, four different types of coffees. Those are the main four. And then this. I'm stuffed, but I'm happy, look. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean, this is the type of food you can find throughout Miami. So many different Cuban restaurants. Our favorite is right here, Casa Cuba, in South Miami. Oh. And look, we're getting some more coffee. Siempre, siempre. My daughter likes sugar. it with brown sugar. I like it with regular sugar. If you if you don't drink sugar, I, I don't ever drink really sugar with coffee. So Cuban coffee, you oh, look at this to. coffee. I mean, it's amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Look at this coffee. Wow. So what's your favorite thing today? Hello. I would say it's the, uh, the pastelito. Yeah. I think the uh, guava and cheese. Okay. I think it's my favorite. So for me, it's the guava and cheese and the jamón serrano croqueta. I've oh, never that's tried it before. Too. It's like, it's so heavenly. I mean, just the bechamel melted throughout. I mean, it pops in your mouth. Fantastic. Well, guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami. Hey, man. Este cafecito está. This coffee, amazing. Mm, nice and hot.